This is question 9 from paper 1 of the 2015 National 5 SQA Maths exam. We're given three trig expressions, cos 90, cos 100, cos 300, all in degrees, and we're asked to put them in order, starting with the smallest. And we're also asked to justify that answer, so it's not, not just a guessing exercise, we have to put reason, a reason down. So, values of cosine. Let's look at the cosine graph. Divided up into four sections, 0 to 90, 90 to 180, 180 to 270, 270 to 360. So that's our angles. Y-axis will give our values of the cosine. And they range from 1 to negative 1. And the cosine values start off at cos 0 degrees, start off at 1. They go down to, z to 0, when cosine of 90 is 0. They continue to get smaller till we reach minimum value of negative 1, cosine 180. They then start to increase again, back up to 0 for cosine of 270, and then, still increasing, back up to 1 for cosine of 360. And then, as you know, it's cyclic, so it continues both directions. So there's one complete uh, cosine wave, if you like. So, what are we asked to do? We're asked to compare the sizes of these values. Now, cosine of 90 is 0. The cosine of 100, 100 is just to the right of that. You notice the graph has gone below the x-axis. So, this would indicate that the cosine of 100, whatever it is, is going to be less than 0. And then if we hunt for 300, about there, look at the point on the graph. The height, since the graph is above the x-axis, the height is positive. So this would indicate that the cosine of 300 degrees is positive. And really, that's all the evidence we need. That's a justification for putting them in order where the smallest cosine of 100 must be less than the cosine of 90, which has to be less than the cosine of 300. And just to emphasize that we know what's going on, this value is negative. This value is 0, and this value is positive. So we've got all the evidence written down that they would need to show that this is not just a guess. There is, of course, an alternative. There is this diagram uh, which basically summarizes whether the graph's above or below the x-axis and the various quadrants. So this summary, uh, so long as you know that cosine of 90 is 0, which presumably, since you don't have a calculator, you're going to have to go to the graph anyway to get that. But anyway, um, cosine of 100, if we look at this diagram, 100 is in the second quadrant. And on this diagram, only the sine values are positive. This is the second quadrant. Only the sine values are positive there, so the cosine must be negative. And cosine of 300, if we look at this diagram, there's 270 all the way around, remember, from 0, 90, 180, 270. So 300 is in this quadrant, a fourth quadrant angle, and cosine in that quadrant is positive. All the others sine, tangent, and negative. That's what the C means. So, positive. So, there's another way of getting it. But basically, this diagram just summarizes the information that you have, more detailed information that you have in this cosine graph. So, lots of ways to do these things. That's what makes maths wonderful.